I've had this Floatron bug zapper for probably 15 years and I recently dug it out and hung it up because the mosquitoes out here where I live have just gone crazy with all the rain and it's been hanging up for maybe two weeks and there's been no mosquitoes around it until now. You can see right here is this dead pile of mosquitoes that I dumped out this morning. They were all laying on top of the plastic lid of this uh, ice cream container with my secret mix in it. It appears to attract flies as well because they are all over this thing even though I have a fly trap right here. Um, I tried making a mosquito trap out of this and all I seemed to catch was flies. All that's in here is half water, half vinegar, and some baking soda. And no mosquitoes even touch this. So mosquitoes need carbon dioxide and heat to be attracted to whatever they're trying to bite and get a blood meal. And this is you can see a few dead mosquitoes on here. This is about a quarter of a gallon of uh, water, a, about a two cups of vinegar, a couple tablespoons of just regular dish soap, and some baking soda. What the baking soda does is interacts with the vinegar and creates carbon dioxide and that's what attracts the mosquitoes and the ultraviolet lamp here will create enough heat to attract the mosquitoes. Mostly mosquitoes, there's a few millers in here but before I added this little ice cream bucket full of water, vinegar, and baking soda, and dish soap, I didn't get any mosquitoes attracted to this. You can buy the mosquito attractant that goes in the bottom of this. I took a steak knife and punched about five holes in a circle around the perimeter of this lid to let the CO2 out. Bought one of these octanol attractants and you see how many thousands of Mosquitoes are dead. I moved this to another place last night, north of my garage where there are a bunch of mosquitoes. You can see the grid is just covered. I filled this up with vinegar and uh, baking soda again. So I've changed from using an ice cream bucket with uh, baking soda and vinegar to using a two liter bottle with about half full of uh, water and then about two cups of brown sugar and then maybe a quarter of a teaspoon of uh, yeast. And then I drilled a hole in the top, put in a fish tank airline tubing, epoxied it in there and then it runs up to the electrical grid of the bug zap. With the baking soda and vinegar method, this lasts maybe about 24 hours, but this lasts, this has been going for about a week now, and it's still going pretty strong. You can shake this up, and you can hear it bubbling up in there. <laughs> 